We hear about becoming an EIT all the time in the engineering community, but what even is an EIT and how do you become one? And is there even a point in becoming an EIT? Are there any benefits to it at all? Well, in this video, I'll be going over exactly what is an EIT and basically what is going to be in it for you. Now, first things first, an EIT itself is an engineer in training under a provincial association in Canada. Now, for example, a PEGA is the engineering association in Alberta. That's where I'll be using some of my sources from. Be sure to check out your province's specific legislations and rules, whatever it is uh, surrounding the EIT program. Now, an EIT is really for those that have the academic requirements for a PEng, but don't necessarily have the work experience yet to become a PEng. And these academic requirements that I'm referring to are just getting your degree from a CEAB accredited university which are most universities throughout Canada, so you shouldn't have to worry. But in the case that you do not have a CEAB accredited degree, there may be other processes and exams that you may have to go through in order for them to validate your academic experience. So, you know, just make sure to look into your province's rules because it really just depends province to province. Now, quick side note, you might hear the words MIT and EIT used interchangeably. But these are really two different things. An MIT is a member in training under the association, so under a PEGA. Whereas an EIT is an engineer in training. An engineer in training by definition is a member in training under a PEGA as well. So it's really just an umbrella term. A member in training is really an umbrella term to cover an EIT while also covering a GIT, which is a geoscientist in training. A PEGA is not only limited to engineers, some people think that that is, it's not. But a PEGA really covers engineers and geoscience. Now, a common misconception and something that a lot of people should know about is that you don't really need an EIT to become a PNG, or you don't need an EIT at all to become a PNG. And that's at least under a PEGA. So the question becomes, why even bother getting the designation? Why even bother getting an EIT? So there are really gonna be three real reasons why you would wanna get your EIT. First of all, the main reason why so many people get their EIT is to really familiarize themselves with the APEGA system. What is the system like? And by familiarizing themselves with it, it'll make the process way easier for when they do apply to get their PN. So essentially, the reason why so many people become EITs is because they want to streamline the process to becoming a PN. To become an EIT is literally becoming an engineer in training. You're literally working towards getting your PN. Therefore, that is the main reason why so many people get their EIT. But obviously, this is not the only reason why so many people would get their EIT. The second reason is because that there may be job postings specific for engineers in training. The reason why companies do this is because engineers in training are under a PEGA. And because they're under a PEGA, they are required to uphold the code of ethics. So it just makes more sense for an employer to go for someone that has an EIT because it's just a safer bet and they know that they're trying to progress themselves to become a PN. And the third reason why people become EITs, and I wouldn't say that this is directly why someone would become an EIT, is that there are certain benefits and discounts that you can get being a member in training under a PEGA. So be sure to look into your province's benefits and discounts regarding getting your EIT. I was looking through the website, there was like discounts in sunglasses, pet insurance, gym memberships, gas prices, there was, there's, there's so many discounts, guys. Now, this obviously does come with a price. To have your EIT, to apply to get your EIT, there is an application fee of $175 as of the time of this recording. Also, quick side note, there are different prices depending on your current status when you are applying to get your EIT. So be sure to look out for the table there. You can see the table on screen to check out the prices as of recording. But now the question really becomes, is it really worth it to get your EIT? Obviously, it is a streamlined way to get your PN, but it's not mandatory at all. But you can also get more job opportunities having an EIT. These are things that were bouncing back and forth in my head when I was making this video. Is it actually really worth it. Especially when you look at other provinces like the PEO that had just recently suspended their EIT program. So you really can't help but think to yourself, will a PEGA or the other provinces follow suit? Will the EIT program be no longer a thing in the future? 
I don't know, bro. I'm and also to add on to this, there isn't a real associated, like, significant pay increase from having your EIT, based on what I could find at least. And your level of responsibility is definitely not going to be as high as, like, a PN. So really, the EIT designation is more of just, like, a nice title and designation to have rather than a career changing position or title. So if you're wondering if getting an EIT is a super big deal, really getting an EIT should be more looked at as a stepping stone towards getting your PNG. And if you're wondering about getting it or not, everyone that I've talked to, every engineer, every EIT that I've talked to has said that it is very much highly recommended that you get your EIT. So. Yeah, there's, there's literally nothing that I can say that would make you not get your EIT. So definitely look into getting your EIT if you're planning to become a PNG. So another question that many would have is, how do you even get your PNG? Like how do you become a professional engineer in Canada? Well, if you're wondering that, be sure to click that link right here to see my video on how to get a professional engineering license in Canada. Subscribe and hit that like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.